Welcome back everybody, I'm Alar and this is a devlog for my RPG, Battletoads Alchemist. Today, once again, I will talk about two of my favorite game dev things, procedural generation and maps. I've recently been bringing together a couple of systems in the game and if you are as excited as I am about this, this is the video for you. I already made a couple of videos on maps and procedural generation in Battletoads Alchemist, so if you want to find out more, you can find a playlist about this on my channel. So what have I recently been working on? There has been a procedurally generated map in the game for quite some time. The thing is that some important functionalities have been missing. In the past, the player could fully see the whole map from the get-go. Now, only world map tiles that the player can travel to are completely visible. All others are more transparent, which can be compared to a fog of war effect. The player can now unlock new tiles on the world map by exploring a level and finding an exit on the corresponding end of a level. For example, if you find the exit on the left side of your current level, you can now access the level left to it on the world map. The next big step for me was to connect the data of the procedural world to the algorithm that creates the individual levels. On the world map, you can see procedurally generated tiles with mountains, water, rocks and lakes. This has to be represented within the levels themselves to create a more believable world. I already talked about the algorithm making the levels in other videos. It has become quite a beast over the years, but it was not too difficult to tell it to make different categories of landscape. I categorized levels into plains, mountains, water, shore, wetland, greenland and cliffs. Then I gave these types of levels certain parameters so the algorithm knows, for example, to place more rocks in the mountains and that plains have less variance in their height levels than cliffs. Although this is for sure not the final version of the level generation, I am pretty happy with the result as it is working right now. While I was on it, I also implemented the fog of war effect to the local map for individual levels. As far as I can see, it helps you with orientation and encourages exploration a bit more. Please note that all of the things explained in this video are not yet on the public branch of the playtest on Steam. I still have to make a decision at which point I want to open up the world for the players. At the moment, I am leaning towards doing this when the early access starts later next year. So this wraps up today's devlog. I hope you enjoyed it and please let me know in the comments what you would like me to talk about in future devlogs. If you liked this video, you can check out my channel for more game dev videos and maybe consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.